Hey everyone, it's Joe here today teaching you how to make money with your smartphone. Today is going to be more of an instructional slash information video. It's for the people out there who need help buying a smartphone. I, I got the question asked many times and I thought it was common sense, but there are a couple ways that you guys need to take into consideration how to save money when buying multiple smartphones. Got the question, Joe. How can I buy a smartphone that's capable of operating at a high speed to make money with while not breaking the bank? Very good question. Now, there are three criteria that I base whenever I purchase multiple smartphones. Uh, three pieces of criteria. Now, for those of you who are confused right now, let's be clear here. It's no secret. You need to have multiple smartphones if you want to make tons of cash with your smartphone. Doesn't mean you'll be putting in a lot of work because you have these multiple smartphones you have to keep track of. It means the smartphones are going to do more work for you while you can do something else. All right, that's, I mean, some people seem kind of confused like that. How are you making that? Well, you need multiple smartphones, okay? So that's the thing. That's, the, that's what we're talking about. And the main question is, how can you buy nice and cheap smartphones while having them be quick enough to do these money things on their own. Because you know, auto videos are kind of taxing on the smartphone itself. You need a good smartphone, all right? And buying an iPhone 5S new unlocked isn't really a good idea, or, not, or a new iPhone 6 unlocked, because it's like 800 bucks. The iPhone 5S unlocked is, you know, so much money. I'll put, you know, some examples over here. We don't want to do that. It's going to take a couple months to pay that back with the money you're actually making on here. We want a nice, quick, you know, half a month to month payback our uh, return of investment on these things we're buying. So with that being said, three criteria. Buy it used, very, very important, okay? If you buy the smartphone used, you will save uh, so many cents per dollar, so much, probably like over half if you buy the thing used. Now, yes, it may have already taken some abuse, but these things can take a lot of abuse, as I know from running Perk TV for almost a year on this thing, and it works fine still. You know, if you guys know how Perk TV works, you know, it's a lot of LCD on all the time, and it's doing fine, but used will be okay, all right? You'll save so much money, be much better to get a return on investment with that. The second thing, the actually the most important thing, if you aren't, well, you will have to buy used and this if you're even going to get this second thing, which is a bad ESN. Electronic serial number. What is that? Well, that's the thing on the phone that identifies it. And a bad one means that the person who owned the phone before was not keeping up with their bill. Okay. And they came and shut off the phone. Now that person has to pay the full balance on their bill before you can activate that cell phone on the carrier they had. So I have a bad ESN Sprint, bad ESN at and All my phones are bad ESNs and I don't care because I don't need to activate it on Sprint or any 4G network or any at and no Verizon. I just need the thing to connect to Wi-Fi. That's another big thing. That's our only prerequisite. The thing powers on and it connects to Wi-Fi. Then we can make as much money as we want. But anyway, this bad ESN business that we're on right now, that really brings down the cost of the phone because people buy used phones to activate them most often. You know, they want to get a deal on buying a new upgrade or something, or they don't have money to buy a new iPhone 6. So they see, oh, bad ESN. Most people don't want that, but we don't care. We need, it to, we need it to connect to Wi-Fi. They need it to connect to a broadband, you know, anywhere they are. We don't care about that. So bad ESN, look for them, type it in. If you're looking for an iPhone 5 on eBay for a nice, uh, really good phone to be making some auto, uh, auto money with, type in iPhone 5 bad ESN used. Good, good results. The third thing, which is, you know, kind of a preference. The first two are the most important that we need to look at that I always use and I save tons of money on buying multiple smartphones. But the third thing is just buy, uh, you know, a phone with a cracked screen. <laughs> who cares? You know, who gives a crap? I have, um, let me see. Oh yeah, I have two iPhones, iPhone 4S and iPhone 4 with both cracked backs. I don't give a flying. It's, you know what, who cares? Like, uh, you know, front, yes, maybe you'll care a bit because, you know, that's a nuisance just to look at it. You know, your poor eyes have to look at that ugly screen. 
nah, I, I still don't care, man. But you know, buying it with a cracked back will bring down the value. Buying it with a cracked front will bring down the value even more. So, so, so if you see an iPhone or any Android or you know any smartphone with used bad ESN cracked, go for it. All right, you'll be saving so much money. In fact, I'll leave some examples over here. You know, iPhone 5S example, new iPhone 5S example, cracked, bad ESN used. You know, you're saving so much money in the long run and you'll get a better return on investment and the thing still works fine. Power's on, connects to Wi-Fi, good to go. Everything else we can do without. Uh, the, you know, one other thing, my iPhone 4 also has water damage. If you see a phone that has water damage and is labeled on eBay, for instance, one of the places I buy a lot of smartphones with, you can buy them anywhere you want, but that's where I buy a lot of mine. If it says water damage and it says for parts not working, still check out the description and maybe even contact the uh, seller. Because perhaps I found with the iPhone 4 I bought that was only like 30 bucks back at the time whenever the 5S was the newest phone, pretty good deal. I paid that off in what, five days. Days. Well, actually, yeah, probably about five, three days. Anyway, uh, I bought this uh, iPhone 4, and I got it so cheap. And most people were turned away by the by the description, you know, or the or the title. It said water damage for parts not working. Well, there was only water damage in the headphone jack, so the headphone jack didn't work. I don't care. I'm not listening to music. I'm I'm making money. So get rid of that so uh, just keep your eye out guys look for deals and remember the two things we need power on Wi-Fi and remember the things we don't need thank you for watching and have a great day uh, please check out the website please check out the Facebook and Twitter I'm trying to find more apps we can make money with please send me to Joe at the text where you can send your suggestions send feedback as do I Am I good at making videos? Do I need to change some things? Or should I include something in a smartphone video? Anything. Comments, questions, concerns. Send them. Joe at the text logs. Thank you, everybody. And uh, have fun making money. See you later.